So you want to know how to invest your first $100. Keep watching this video and you'll find out exactly how to do it. And before we get things started, remember to give my video a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Alright, so you have 100 bucks that you want to put into the market, but you really don't know where to start out. If you watched any of my other videos, you know it's got to be maybe a company you know. And you go to a stock that you know and a company that you love to use, Google, and you see the price and it's $1,257. That 100 bucks isn't going to cut it. So, you said, not a problem, let me jump over to another stock. Now, you look up Amazon. $2,401. Can't afford that either. So you figure, okay, no tech, no tech giants. Let me go to something a little bit more conservative. You've probably heard a million people say it all over YouTube. Johnson & Johnson, great company. $154. You can't even invest in a company that makes hand lotion. So what do you do? Where do you go? Where can you put this $100? You don't want to resort to penny stocks because they're risky and if you're thinking long term, just a bad investment. So if you remember in one of my earlier videos, I talked about something called an ETF. For those of you who don't remember, an ETF is an exchange traded fund, uh, which is a type of security that involves a collection of securities such as stocks that often track an underlying index. So if we want to track, say, the American market, we would go to S&P 500. And as you can see, there are over 500 companies in the S&P 500. So you figure, okay, great. Take my $100 and put it in the, uh, the SPY, Standard & Poor's 500. Easy. Jump onto the computer, it's $280. You can't even invest in the ETF I'm telling you about. Um, and as you can see, it's got all of these big companies, it's got Google, it's got Johnson & Johnson, it's got Amazon in it, but you still can't invest in it. So where do you go from here? Well, there are many different ETFs out there and SPY even has miniature versions of itself. This is what we have. There's the SPYD for $25.73. You can see how it's broken down, very diversified, over 81 stocks in this ETF. There's the SPYG, which is only $39. As you can see, these are all of the growth stocks, including Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, Facebook. There's over 274 stocks in this ETF. And then, there's the SPYV. These are value stocks. These are the companies that Warren Buffett likes to go after. And sure enough, the very first stock that you see in it is BRK. That is Berkshire Hathaway. That is Warren Buffett's company. So yes, you can take $100 and start investing in hundreds of stocks, hundreds of blue chip stocks that would normally cost hundreds if not thousands of dollars for 27, 39, or 25 bucks. So now you may be thinking, is it even worth investing a hundred bucks? You know how many cups of coffee at Starbucks I could get with this $100? Will it even amount to anything? People say you need to start with a thousand, two thousand, ten thousand dollars. Well, if we look at the SPY's performance since its inception, it has gone up 11.04%. So, if we want to know what our portfolio would be worth, if we take $100 and invest it, invest another $100 every single month for the next 45 years, and the reason why I say 45 is because if you're watching this and you only have 100 bucks to invest, I'm going to assume you're pretty young. Maybe you're in college. Maybe you just got out of college. Maybe you just graduated high school and you're ready to start investing. So we jump over to Excel, my favorite calculator. So if we put in our rate, 
Next would be our payment. So we'll say 45 years times the 12 months because we're putting in $100 every single month and we are starting with our first $100. After 45 years, if you're 20 years old, the day you turn 65, you will have $1.5 million invested in the market as long as it's making that 11% return, which the SPY has been doing that since its inception. And if you want to know how much money, how many $100 bills you are actually putting into the market over those 45 years, it equates to only $54,000. So yes, I'm talking about the long term. This is going to take some serious time, but that's what long term investing is. You're building for a nice retirement. You could have a million bucks in your bank account by just investing $100 every single month. And now you know exactly where to start. You can invest in ETFs. You can invest in the SPYD, SPYG, or SPYV, depending on your strategy. Of course, each will have different uh, returns, but for the fact that it's following the SPY and you have almost 100 or even more than 100 stocks in each portfolio, it's what I believe to be the safest bet for your first $100. No professional, I'm not giving you advice, I'm just telling you what I would do if I was in your position and you want to know how to spend that $100. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, put some comments in there, and I'll see you in the next one.